exceedingly high yield renal distinction for U.S. simile is acute tubular necrosis versus interstitial nephropathy, aka tubular interstitial nephritis. Aminoglycosides, gentamicin, amikacin, these cause acute tubular necrosis. Muddy brown, dirty brown granular casts, brown pigmented casts following the aminoglycoside can be contrast-induced nephropathy, can be rhabdomyolysis, myoglobin is nephrotoxic, can be acute ischemia to the kidney, e.g. episode of ventricular fibrillation, can be acute blood loss due to trauma or surgery. It's not pre-renal, okay? It's acute tubular necrosis, exceedingly high yield. And then in contrast, we've got tubular interstitial nephropathy, which is going to be an NSAID, beta-lactam, or cephalosporin, almost always followed by white blood cells, eosinophils, in the urine. Occasionally, they can tell you one of those agents is given, followed by just simply a little bit of blood and protein in the urine, that's interstitial nephropathy. Maculopapular rash in about 50% of patients. NSAIDs, beta-lactam, cephalosporins do not fucking cause acute tubular necrosis. It's the wrong fucking answer. In contrast, actually I should just end on, uh, dapsone and gold salts can cause regular membranous glomerulonephropathy and nephrotic syndrome.